Wow. This is Sunday, 29th, I think, of March, 2021. It might be the 30th, I'm not sure. We're not very accurate with dates, but we are, we are going to take a walk down Young Street. The famous Young Street. We're at the corner of, uh, in, what is this, Bloor? Yeah, we're in the corner of Bloor. And Young, yeah, they're building this. This used to be an old men's clothing store. I don't know if it was old men's clothing store or was an old store selling clothing for men. But back in the 80s, there were, if you wanted a, what do you call that? Uh, if you wanted a, uh, what the, the famous shirts, the Lacoste and Polo shirts in the 80s, uh, these guys had the original. They had the Polos, they had the Lacoste, and they were the most expensive. And you could get the knockoff versions with fox and rabbits on them. Instead of the, oh my god, it's windy. Instead of the alligators, you couldn't get them anywhere. But this place used to be uh, the place for the original stuff. But then I don't know what happened to them afterwards. I guess they were selling men's clothing. And now it's going to be a tall ass condo. There we go. This is looking north. And let's head south on Young Street. I've been here photographing a few times in past 2018. I did a bunch of photos here. And we're gonna do a revisit, check it out. I, I was hoping for more rain, but uh, everything's wet, but it's not raining, it's very windy. I like to photograph in the wind because uh, it gives you a more of an interesting look to everything. That'd be a cool shot from downtown. That guy coming in with a... Okay. It's like a, that guy's smart. He has a plastic bag with him to use as a rain cover in case of emergency. Heads up, I have two of those. I have two of those plastic bags with me in case I get stuck in a rainstorm. You know, without a jacket, you know, especially in the summer. You never carry a jacket around and, you know, you get this quick little thunderstorms and you could get pretty wet you know if you don't you, seek you, shelter quick you know, enough uh, I'm where Pembroke Street is Pembroke Street it's around here very close no idea man I'm kind of new to this area you possibly want to be able to google it on your phone my phone's just like down right now I, I can't use my phone because I'm filming and it's on the film mode uh, but that's Young Street up there the, no that's Bloor Street okay thank you thanks sorry Ah, uh, well, I can't do that. I can't do that. Uh, you wanted to know a street, uh, Pembroke, but I don't know where that is. I am pretty new to this area too. I haven't been here for a long, long time. So I don't expect to be an expert in, he's asking a cab driver. Good, he needs a cab. This is a uh, brass rail, the famous uh, brass rail. Check out the stores. This. Um, in the 80s this street used to be really kind of the place to go for shopping for records and uh, you know cool knickknacks guitar shops music music notes uh, army stores cool jackets cool stores you know they had all these jean stores in the summer that uh, uh, you know they would sell you jeans and trendy clothes of the time you know t-shirts and um, uh, that sort of thing uh, a lot of video stores later, posters, pins, you know, those rock and roll band uh, stuff, you know, t-shirts, rock t-shirts, rock pins, uh, you know, those kind of stores are full of it here. Uh, a few uh, sex shops, I guess, videos, sex video stores and, you know, in the basement. And it was kind of really, uh, it's changed a lot because it's, uh, I guess you could have compared it to half Times Square of a time kind of a thing but not really there were famous record stores here that I remember on Boxing Day everybody would rush in and be a lineup to get in um, you know get those deals <laughs> Boxing Day deals which are you know used to be decent back then because they're you know you used to buy records for I don't know 10 bucks and they were half price 
I mean, the stuff that didn't sell well, they put on sale. And, uh, you know, it was it was fun times. Whoa, what was that? A look back. I like the look backs. Some street sound. Look at these stores. Some you can tell. Some are still older. Older sections. And I remember back in high school, I used to come here almost every weekend on a date. Uh, I used to bring my date here, I used to walk up and down, and we used to grab something to eat, hit some Chinese restaurants, and had a great time. Look for records and army pants. And there used to be a lot of those camping stores here back in the day. I don't know if there's any left, but I think there's one still around. The, the kind of camping stores that were mostly army stores, army gear, not proper lightweight camping gear. Back in the 80s, the, the light camping gear was very hard to find. So most of the stuff was very, you know, army sur surplus camping stuff. Heavy army jackets, heavy backpacks, everything was army color. So I used to come here and uh, uh, look for that because I used to do a lot of camping back in the day. And, uh, this is gonna look up here. Wow. I used to do a lot of uh, camping and I used to... This guy's a bookstore. I'm amazed how bookstores are still. Five cent, 50 cents books now. And there was, I remember over here somewhere, I have no idea where, it was a place that used to sell guns, you know, uh, BB guns and rifles and replica guns. You can't have any uh, real weapons in Canada. Uh, legally but uh, these guys used to sell a lot of replicas and, and I still love coming there and looking at the stuff you can hear the police car coming in I can't hear anything oh, that must be near too I was looking at that Bootmaster thing over there. That's a that's an old one. That's an old one. I think I bought a pair of boots there at some point. This guy would have been a great picture to take, but I was too busy looking around for interesting <laughs> to take any shots. Uh, I came here last. I walked the street was uh, I think 19 with my friend Jim. And we did some street photos and uh, from that situation you know talking all about this rain business I took a really interesting shot we got caught in a rainstorm so we took in shelter underneath this uh, kind of a covering I don't know where it was it was Dundas Square somewhere and I took this one really neat shot that I may find and post it here here it is maybe and uh, yeah that was cool I'm gonna that was like 2019 the last time I walked in the streets probably a year and a half ago, pre-pandemic. You have that uh, central surplus. Okay. That's one of those old stores. I wonder if it's still open or not. It says closed. Uh, take a shot. I have a good shot of that place when it was open. Okay, that guy and shot. Good. Yeah, this is, uh, you see, this is what I was talking about. These stores are, you know, you got one floor upstairs and you're on a major street in Toronto you're not going to have um, that's not going to last that long because they're going to look at all the condos going up here there used to be absolutely zero condos here uh, back in the day it was all uh, this uh, Again, when I walk on the shops that are to my left here, I don't pay as much attention to them as shops that are over there because I can get a better view of the whole general shop. When I look this way, all I see is the front of the window and what they have in it. Most of them are closed. This one is burger. It's closed, kind of. Yeah, it's closed. 
Tongue 30. You know, these guys are coming in. These guys would be a good shot too. They got their masks on. They got their drinks with straws that they picked up from a public dispensary. Straw probably. Or, you know, they didn't wash their hands when they picked it or something and they're wearing a mask. So they have to take the mask off with their dirty hands and put the straw in their mouth. Should I keep on going? Or I had a, oh, we are Young and Wesley. Now, right over there in the center, I had a major um, car crash. It was uh, late at night, 11 o'clock. I was going to pick up my girlfriend. She used to work at a hospital over there. I don't know if the hospital still exists or not. And a guy drove right through the intersection, through the red. And I saw him coming and I was just doing probably 40 something, 45, you know. I wasn't going very fast, but it was last minute. And I saw him and I just no way to stop. So I braced myself for impact and uh, I hit him. I hit him, you know, I didn't want to, I, you know, swerve or anything. I was in an SUV, I didn't want to flip, so I hit him, braced, hit. I was okay, and he was kind of uh, in shock. When I got out to see who he was, what's going on, I realized he's the manager of a restaurant that I eat there all the time. <laughs> it was a very small simulation type of word. It was one of my favorite restaurants, too, in, uh, in east of Chinatown area, in Toronto. And I used to go there all the time. And after I hit him like that, I couldn't go back to that restaurant because I was like, you know, I didn't feel like <laughs> eating there because in case he recognized me, you know, this guy tried to kill me. Anyway, so I didn't get charged or I don't know if he got charged. So there was no, no nothing. I got my truck fixed. And uh, that, was, that was a pretty serious experience for my driving. And, uh, you know, that taught me to always be careful at intersections. You, n you never know if uh, people are stopping these are just a couple of documentation shots nothing exciting oh, yeah so that corner is uh, it is that story about that corner of uh, somebody running the red light and me me riding right into them yes interesting interesting Reminiscing about the good old Young Street days. Yeah, it's, uh, this is a new, I have no idea, like I was saying. Break this couple, right in the middle of their couple. The wind is pretty heavy. I don't know what it used to be here, and then uh, they tore it down. I have pictures from um, uh, 2019, which I think would be kind of interesting to look and see how, um, how, ch how much changes there are. We're approaching, what are we, approaching college, so college street. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a lot of little restaurants. Persian cuisine. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Darvish. Take out only help needed. So these guys take out only, but they need help. I should work there because I make an amazing Iranian dishes, kebabs and everything. Homemade in five minutes, come on. I must do a little bit of a food, cooking food. Like I was saying before, most foods are kind of similar. You get some sort of carb or some sort of a meat and the way they spice it, it, it changes the whole thing. But Bottom line, they're all the same. Once you get used to switching spices, they, they, they all, most foods kind of taste the same. So it's not, uh, they're all the same. We're under, let's see if it's raining, it's a good place to get stuck here if it's raining. Although it could leak and, okay. And there used to be cinemas there too. I don't know what the action is at cinemas. It's back in the 80s, there used to be tons of cinemas. And on the weekends, that's another place I used to come for dates on cinemas here. Uh, Carlton Cinema was around here and a bunch of them. They were all, uh, all the good movies of the 80s. I probably watched them live here in uh, 
dominoes. We are open. This guy is like screaming. Just not even make sure you make sure you understand they're open. Yeah. All the good movies of the 80s. This guy is pushing the cart. Sign said that sign says, Oh, McDonald's, too. Yeah, remember, these are these are the McDonald's that I used to visit after running around all day downtown looking for stuff. You know, one of the stories about Young Street for me is whenever we decided to go camping, my early camping uh, trips. Uh, you know, the one of the fun things about the trip would be me and friends would save our money you know all our allowance and money from summer job cutting grass and selling hot dogs and you know we'd come down here and we said look we need to go camping we need to buy some gear <laughs> but but what we used to do was you know we used to spend our money wow that was crazy what was that um we used to spend all our money on kind of like fun stuff that didn't make any sense you know like instead of spending all our money buying an amazing sleeping bag and a backpack and a tent, which is like your basic, we used to buy, you know, funny stuff, funny gear that, you know, didn't really, it was more cool than, than worth anything. And, uh, you know, but um, like, I don't know, I remember like funny knives and axes and, you know, uh, something to carry eggs in just silly stuff right mostly uh, stuff that was army related you know army backpack and, and uh, then we run out of money and uh, but we never had the essentials that were good because we tried to buy cheap stuff you know cheap stuff that only lasted on one or two trips and it ripped and oh my god you know then that was early then I realized that um, buying good equipment that you pay good money for it's worth it because it lasts forever and it gives you uh, you know makes your camping life easy and fun it's the intersection of uh, see a McDonald's there didn't it I think so and the building is kind of looks like it's all it's a pretty interesting building I think there used to be a McDonald's or a coffee shop or a second cup there and it all looks it's closed it's okay 7-eleven there yeah so then i realized that you know having an amazing tent spending money on a good tent will last forever and you know keeps you dry and comfortable and it's light having a great sleeping bag is light and keeps you warm and lasts forever and same with stove and you know basic stuff your backpack once you buy the good stuff you can have it forever and you actually end up saving a lot of money uh, my current the sleeping bag that I bought I don't know probably 20 30 years ago I still have when I when I travel in the States I always carry it with me and in the hotel room I use it to sleep in a sleeping bag it's very you know soft compact doesn't take a lot of room and I always have a sleeping bag wherever I go uh, it's not that I think the hotel rooms are not clean it's just that it makes me feel I bring something of my own on the road, something that I like and I enjoy sleeping and reminds me of camping. So when you're on a road away from home and working, Sadly, I mean like you have something that's yours and you enjoy to sleep in at the end of the day. So you basically, even if you're in a random hotel, you come to your home kind of thing. It makes a big difference when you're on a road for a couple of days or touring and that kind of stuff. Yeah, this, where are we going? It's still Young Street. College Park. This used to be too, I remember this place too. This used to be a little funny mall where we used to come and hang out in and I don't remember, there wasn't much in there. It's a crazy nice building too, but there wasn't that much action. Very quiet mall. There was another mall, Atrium on Bay, that I used to hang out. And one day I have to visit that. Maybe we go walk about today. 
but um, yeah, this used to be very quiet malls. Eaton's was the busy one. And back there used to be a parking where those big tall buildings are, used to be a park, and that's where we used to park uh, to, let's go check it out. That's where we used to park to go hang out here. We used to bring the car, stick it in there, right in the heart of downtown. And it wasn't that expensive, maybe $5 a day or something. Good old days. Everybody likes the good old days. Oh, Aiden camera. This is like a camera store here, I guess. Hmm. This is all new because this is all put in. You should go check that out. Uh, you gotta, there's a plastic thing, it's curbside only. And I don't know if I need anything of camera. I have uh, basic gear. Let's do a heads up. Heads up, there you go. Wow. Ne neat. These are all kind of new. This should be a big parking garage here. Uh, just a on top you park your car on top and uh, that's it now it's uh, interesting interesting i don't know what that says yeah that thing in the front that that section was there just so this uh, these are all new these townhouses here all new well, let's walk this way and then come back so Young Street is to my right. Young Street will be that way. And Bay Street will be that way. Yeah. I parked many times here and, you know, sat in a car. You know. Good uh, times. Always. Yeah, and then there's this thing here. I don't know what it was. So this is Hyman uh, Bay. Farm Boy. There's a grocery store there. I guess uh, a lot of grocery stores opened up here because so many people are living here so this water is wow this is deep water this is deep water wow parkour is this parkour if you're walking through deep water or not let's get out of here back on young street that's a interesting background shooting models on it or getting light to reflect off of it I like city portraits also. I like to photograph uh, models and people in the street because it's kind of neat the way you can use public structures for not only as background but also as light. You know, in tall cities, especially in New York with a lot of tall buildings, the buildings actually change the shape of light. And you know, you get light places that normally you wouldn't get light and there's a lot of field light and sometimes when the sun shines off a glass building it creates two light sources uh, one is always stronger than the other the sunlight has higher intensity than its reflection physics right so you get two light sources that are in good proportion to each other for a great portrait so sometimes you get a lot of that in new york the spots in the street that's only like a little little area it's not a big area it's an area maybe 10 feet by 10 feet that you get this perfect light and if you move out of that area it's it's not there it's just it's just normal and i love looking for those okay gerard some police cars i think they turned their police cars into gray and white my camera says i have 10 minutes 10 percent battery life left right okay that's not a bad shot i got a car and a police car in there i'm going to keep going till the battery runs out then i'm going to hunker down and uh switch packs switch magazines while you cover me but while i'm covering while i'm changing magazines i need somebody to cover me this is what was this thing they got i guess they're trying to keep keep the front facade look all the concrete they got there trying to hold that thing down wow beautiful ah, look back look back That's so cool. This is like a big changing 
I want to get those people to come forward a bit. That's cool. The, the whole block is gone. I wonder why they kept the facade of the building. Oh, I guess it's a little bit. You know, most houses and buildings in Toronto are very... Look, there's like a white police car now. I don't know what the difference between the white and the grays are. One is supervisor and one is ordinary. That's a gray. See, there's a gray one there. And then there's a white one behind us, following us. I don't know. I'm going to ask. I think they switched their colors and then decided to go back to... Oh. Wow. This is unrecognizable if you don't come here often. Wow, wow. That's nice. Oh, this thing is... This thing is... Uh, no more towers. Somebody's written that. No more towers. Yeah, they're gonna build another one here, I guess. So, yeah. Wow, that's a cool shot. Let's get out of the street. And yeah, interesting. I'm gonna walk back on the other side. Do a section two. Section one. There's a fire truck coming. Let's get the fire truck and this background. Ready? And action. Wouldn't that be iconic? Old fire trucks in 100 years when they build this tower and it's it's all old. Oh, it's crazy. That's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Kodak lens. Let's do a shot of these buildings. This guy walking past, maybe. Okay. All right, all right. Zanzibar. That's another walk in the street to touch. Okay. Oh, oh my God. They banged completely into the pole. Completely. Let me check the camera. Did I knock the camera off its axis? After I shoot this stuff. Alright. Well, we did knock the camera off a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the battery soon. Okay, we're gonna pull into this alleyway here. And see what we can do. Oh, this camera store closed and moved to that area that we were earlier on. That'll be a cool, interesting shot. There we go. There you go, there you go, there you go. All right, battery pack change. Be back in a sec. All right, and we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back, so let's go I'll take some shots. I took a picture of that army cadet. Uh, I think it was the Canadian Armed Forces guy. I took a photograph of him, let's see how it turns out. It's a lineup for some sort of uh, Food and there's like a little corner there. What is that? Asian grocery. Oh, oh, H Mart. Oh, nice. Oh, this is an amazing place. I didn't know they had H Mart here. Okay. It's a Korean grocery store. Hmm. And there's a crazy lineup. A crazy lineup for it. I guess there's not many around. There's one in New York that I used to go to. It's, um, it's a very tidy. So I think it's a Korean, uh, Korean based. And uh, it's very tidy. Uh, lots of good stuff. I found a lot of the stuff had a lot of sugar, processed with sugar in it. So I was always careful of not uh,
of uh, doing too much. This guy's sitting right in the middle of the grill because, smartly, it's very warm. So it's a subway or air conditioning or, I don't think it's subway, I think it's buildings, air conditioning vents. So that keeps you pretty warm in the winter. If you're stuck in the cold, smart dude. You know, and also blocks the traffic so people will pay attention to you. So it's a, it's a smart move. West 49. There's a skateboard shop. We got any skateboarders in the audience today? Do we got any skateboarders? Perhaps not. Skateboarders. Look at these longboards. I fly down the hill. You just need a hill. You just need a hill? What do we got for him, Bob? And they crack his head. An oncoming car. It's always fun. So we are at the Danda Square section of Young Street. And uh, here we are. That guy walking with a stick. My garbage cat. Beautiful. Beautiful. That guy kind of walks with a stick. I like. Hey. That's it. So we're going to go which way? This is interesting. We can go across this way. We can go this way. And we can go this way. Well, this one is clean. Let's go. And that guy's standing in the middle of the street. This is our interesting part of town, I guess. So we're going to end the ride in there. We're going to go in there and end the ride and maybe do a go back ride. And I see either I post both of them or if it's exciting or just one of them or do something. Anyway, we're at Dundas Square in Toronto. That's Eaton Center at, uh, I don't know if it's open or not or what's going on, but here we are at our destination for today's little ride. Okay, thanks for joining for the ride. We'll catch you in the next one. Go back out.